Hi again. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what the title of this video is going to be because Um, so this is a hospital letter with an appointment on it and I've been waiting on this for probably about a year now so it's actually quite quick um yeah quite quick um I don't even know how to explain it but um you all know that I'm sober I'm clean from taking any sniff and um I'll be sober from that four years in July, it'll be, it would have been seven years, but COVID hit and I relapsed. I relapsed in April of 2020 and June and July, I relapsed and in total, I took about um, five lines of coke. Because, <laughs> um, like, look how many people that were sober for so many years and COVID hit, and there were a lot of people relapsing. I've dog hair everywhere. But yeah, I was one of them people, I relapsed and that's why, that's why it's only back down to three years, coming up to four years. Um, in July, I'll be clean. It would have been seven, but fucking COVID um, did it to a lot of ex-drug users. They relapsed a lot of people relapsed um but yeah this letter it's a new pain treatment and why am i telling you about my relapse it's because when people get clean off the drugs um you don't even like to take a painkiller you don't like to put anything else into your body when it whenever you're trying to get everything out of your body and um when i relapsed like it wasn't a big amount it was just like five lines within like what four months three months so it's not much i didn't relapse the way that other people did relapse so i'm quite quite proud of myself for not going the full throttle on the drugs in 2020 the way other drug users did but whenever you're whenever you're clean and in recovery you don't like to take even a paracetamol you don't like to you don't like to put anything into your body because it makes you feel like you're like going back in that addiction route and um like anything that has to go into my body and like terrified about and it freaks me out but But this, this new pain, um, it's called IV lidocaine infusion and it's a steroid, it's an intensive steroid to like, like do you know, like all my nerve endings 
and my scoliosis, all of my like deformed parts of my whole body and um, obviously like my feet and my leg because like I had five bones removed from my toes and um, that all got botched and stuff so I've got like pain everywhere. I don't want to take paracetamol because of my addiction. I don't want to take gabapentin because of my addiction. I don't want to take any other tablet. I don't want to take tablets at all. I don't want to take, ta I don't want to put anything like that because I was addicted to um, codeine tablets. I used to take up to a hundred codeine tablets a day like a day, not a week, a day, and um, now it's just like I can't even take a paracetamol, so I explained that to this doctor, um, I'll have to spell her name out because I can't pronounce her name, but as soon as she listened to my story about the drugs and not wanting to take any type of pill, like pain pill to help my pain. I would rather sit in pain than take a pain pill. And um, her name is Dr. C H O G L E. And like she was amazing. You felt the Muller vibes off her. She just like came up and hugged me and everything because like I was crying. I didn't want to take any pain pills that she was advising me to take. And then like she seen my hands, my spine, my deformed foot. Um, obviously the five bones taken out of my foot and all just everything to do with my osteogenesis imperfecta and um, she says there is one thing that I could maybe offer you but you will have to be put on a waiting list for it and it could take up to like uh, two to five years but she got me in within a year so she is I'm going to take her down a bunch of flowers or chocolate for helping me. But I'm so nervous of getting this because it's putting something into my body. And if you've seen the video of me getting the COVID jab, I was like freaking out, panicking, like all this here, like crap. Like just because it was something going into my body that I couldn't control and with this um I have to be a company a com I have to get an adult to drive me back home basically because I I think she says I'm either getting put asleep for the IV infusion or something like that and um, it's a steroid, a heavy, heavy, heavy steroid to numb all of the nerve, all the nerve endings that the hospital has botched me with and I'm just terrified because it's something going into my body and my mum was like, look, Please just get it. Don't think about. Don't think about it making you relapse or having that relapse in your thought. Like because you're not relapsing, it's for your pain. You're not taking tablets. It's a infusion. But it's still something going into my body, and I just. I know I'm going to take a reaction to it and I'm terrified because I know I need it because I don't take painkillers anymore at all. I only take painkillers if I get a migraine and 
with everything strong with my body, I should be taking heavy, strong painkillers. But as an ex-addict, no. Um, even like if you go and ask ex-addicts that you just know, they'll probably like tell you the same. Like it's hard to like even take a paracetamol because you think that's um you think that's like making your relapse making your recovery going into relapse if you understand what i'm saying um but yeah like this is terrifying the shit out of me but it's on the 29th of this month and i know i have to just bite the bullet and get it but i'm terrified because I know I will have a reaction because of my anxiety of stuff going into my body that I can't control. At least with drugs, I could control the amount that I'm taking and control when I'm taking the drugs whenever I was an addict. But with this, like, IV lidocaine infusion steroid i'm i'm going to be shit feared like i'm shit feared sitting talking about it but my mom was like please just get it like don't think that it'll make you relapse it won't make me relapse it's just i know i'll probably cry and and like feel bad for my recovery but it's nothing to do with drugs it's to help my pain and I have to get that into my head but like it's out of my control I can't control what the amount that they're putting in and what way I'm going to feel with it going in and it's just terrifying as the next drug addict going to get like something into your body that you can't control the way you controlled your own drugs you're leaving it in the hands of a doctor to control the dose and um control me like, I'm going to be a handful that day because <coughs> cause it's going to be really, like, scary just, you know. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be making a YouTube video of it. Um, I'm just scared shitless, but I'm so thankful for this doctor because she felt my pain and she just like wrapped her arms around me and hugged me and, and made me feel listened to unlike the rest of the doctors that just have botched my whole body. So at least with her, I know I'm in good hands but she knows that I am on that freak out stage about getting something put into my body so she'll be like coaching me through it obviously because I don't know what I, like I don't know what way it's going to go either I'm getting put asleep or else um I have to just sit and get this infusion put into me but I will be flogging it, so um, it's not going to be a pretty flog. <laughs> it's not going to be anything like pretty. I think it'll be more educational for people with um, brittle bones. Um, maybe um, it'll help them to ask their doctor to um, maybe advise them to this lidocaine. IV infusion so um yeah 
I just wanted to update you since before um, I get it on the 29th and there will be a video coming out of it of me getting it, me in the hospital, me doing my thing with it. Like, I don't know, I'm just so scared. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm like, uh, I don't want it in my body, but I know I have to get it. I have to stop thinking that it's a drug drug. It's a treatment for my pain. But as a drug addict, like, it, and it, as an ex-drug addict, you don't want anything in your body that you can't control. So, yeah, this video on the 29th will be quite educational. I can't even say that word. Um, for people with brittle bones and pain, like, pain, 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 like normal bone people has pain, but brittle bone people has pain, 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 like pain. <laughs> so yeah, um, just wanted to update you that before you see the video of me actually being in hospital and getting it done. It'll take up to two hours, two to three hours it'll take up to. But it might take up to four hours because I know my body will freak out about it being in my system. So yeah. Just one day update is that before you see me lying in hospital, this is why I'll be lying in hospital, is to try and help my pain situation because I can't take painkillers, I can't take like any painkillers without freaking out or being sick. Like, ugh. But yeah, anyway, if you've got to this here, end of the video thank you so much <laughs> um but anyway it's nearly nine o'clock ready for big brother <laughs> anyway um yeah peace out and i love you and really wish me luck wish me no sickness wish me just like goodness that comes out of it because I will be updating everybody on YouTube because I've got a lot of people watching um, my brittle bone treatments and like my bone just days and stuff like that you know um, I've got a lot of brittle bone people that watch my channel so hopefully maybe um, if this steroid infusion helps hopefully it'll help a lot of other people with brittle bones to ask their doctor about this it's it's called IV lidocaine infusion steroid heavy steroids so whew, maybe I'll be like all muscly within a couple of months but I don't think it's that type of steroid. It's obviously for pain. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know. I might actually go and Google it. I've never go... I should have Googled it before this video. But anyway, shit, nearly 20 minutes long, any of this video. Shit, right, peace out, everybody, and I love you. I'm going to go and Google that now. And maybe write it down in the, the description below. So always read the description below because there is links and stuff down there. So yeah, peace out everybody. Wish me luck for the 29th. Please just wish me no sickness. Just wish me bitterness. <laughs> bitterness and no pain. But anyway, bye.